System Error Reality Barrier Breach Tracing Zipter Industries Data Space Corrupt Activating Emergency Protocol Initializing Protocol VR The car is registered to Caitlin Starr, a standard production model that has been specially modified for use by the troopers in their civilian identities. It can convert to flight mode and has short to medium range subsonic flight capabilities. At this time, it is not fitted with any offensive or defensive weapon systems. The Arch, constructed on private property outside Crossworld City, is an artificially created port that allows the troopers access to the lab. The lab exists not in reality or virtual reality, but in an area in between, a digital anomaly where reality and cyberspace overlap. The area was discovered by Tyler Steele and he built the lab there to continue his experiments into inner reality travel. After his mysterious disappearance, Professor Hart, a virtual personality that monitors the lab systems, became its guardian. The lab has now become the VR Troopers' base of operations against Grimlord's cybotic invasion. It contains all the equipment needed for Professor Hart to monitor the virtual world and effect repairs to the Troopers' armored data suits. The VR visors allow the Troopers to explore cyberspace from the safety of the lab. With them, they can access a tactical database conduct surveillance, and gather information on Grimlord's troop movement without being detected. The virtualizers are the key to the VR Trooper's powers. They are made from cyber crystals, originally discovered by Tyler Steele deep in the interface space. They have the unique property of being able to harness the energy of subatomic particles that exist in both reality and virtual reality at the same time. The troopers use them to summon armored data suits, created by Professor Hart, a friend of Tyler Steele who is trapped in virtual space while working in virtual reality. A virtualizer's power also allows them to physically enter the virtual world. By using the Vortex command, the troopers can open a brief wormhole in the reality barrier. It sucks them and cyber soldiers in the vicinity into the virtual world. To help combat the military might of Grimlord's mechanized mutants, the troopers also have access to fantastic battle machines. Skybase is a flying fortress that helps the troopers maintain air superiority over Crossworld City against General Ivar's quantum fighters. It is stored in Skybase's hold and can be injected into any trouble zone in seconds. Each trooper also has an array of close combat weapons they can select on command. Among them, Ryan Steele, the VR Laser Saber. Also available to Ryan, the VR Laser Ray, Lightning Hand, and Laser Fist. JB Reese, the VR Laser Lance. Also available to JB is the VR Super Saber and VR Techno Bazooka. Caitlin Starr, the S Sword. Also available to Caitlin is the VR Laser Ray. Professor Hart can also initiate a battle grid alert that transports the troopers to interface space. This occurs when the lab faces a direct threat from Grimlord's forces. In the battle grid, the VR troopers switch to lighter, less restrictive battle suits better suited to eye space combat. And so there you have it, a brief glimpse into the world of the VR troopers their backup and support. Hey, so what am I? The Andrex puppy? Oh yes, and there is Jeb as well. <laughs>